Hi everyone, I'm um, just making another video. Lance is upstairs is sleeping, he went down for his first nap, so I don't know how long I have, but um, so because he's asleep by the time I get myself ready for the day and um, I'm still on break for the holidays, hence my Christmas decorations are still up. I don't know, I don't know, how long are you supposed to leave the tree up for? I feel like I'll probably leave it up for a while, but anyway. Um, so, as I was getting ready this morning, I was thinking about um, getting myself ready during the week normally when I am going to work, and um, I have the unfortunate pleasure of working pretty far away, um, and so I have to get up pretty early in the morning, and as a result, like, I'm out the door and gone before Eliana is even awake. So I don't get to see my kids until I pick them up at, like, four, five, six o'clock at night. So there's a big stretch where I don't see them at all. And um, like that bothers me probably because for like three years, I I was the one, I only worked part-time. So I was the one who dropped Eliana off and picked her up. So we spent a lot more time together than we get what we get to now. Um, so that kind of stinks. So one little thing that I like to do is I like to leave a note in her lunch um, for her every morning. And um, if she's buying lunch, like, I'll attach it to her snack because they still get snack in first grade. Um, but so in order to do that, all you really need is, like, some post-it notes, and I have a ton of those. Um, and then just a pen or a pencil if you're not really confident in your drawing skills, and boom, there you go. Um, I have seen, like, you can buy these notes, like, already for kids, like, or there's, like, jokes for in lunch boxes, and, like, like, I get people wanting to do that because, like, maybe they're not a really good artist. But, like, honestly, like, find some clip art on your computer and print it off and then handwrite a note. Because I think that um, the handwritten part of it is really meaningful to kids. Um, I mean, if you got a thank you note from somebody and it was all typed up, like, it wouldn't really be as impactful as it is when somebody takes the time to handwrite it. So I think that, like, yeah, they might look really pretty and stuff, but... There's something to be said for spending time on, on doing that and creating something. And children, although they can't articulate that to you, they really appreciate it. So I have some examples in front of me. That's why I keep looking down. Um, I have some examples of different notes that I've done. I try to do um, something that pertains to what's happening um, in her life or in just in life in general. Um, or... Uh, like for the ho like with the holidays, I did like countdown to Christmas and countdown to like trick or treat and stuff like that. But um, oh, and what's really awesome about this is that um, she has taken to saving all of them. Like upstairs in her room, she has a little like art center, and she like she keeps them. She's kept them all since the first day, and I think that that really says something about what a hoarder she is. But also like how meaningful it is to have just these little, I mean, they're just like little stupid post-it notes, but they mean a lot to her. And so I'll share some of them with you. Um, so this one, she was really into, um, she was watching a lot of like Angry Birds or whatever. So I got this Piggy King. I don't know. I don't know the show, um, but he's like bummed out and says Happy Monday. Um, let's see. Pizza Steve, because who doesn't love Pizza Steve? Right? You rock. Um, she started making requests. Um, so we got a, a Dory here. Um, this was, once again, she was really into, like, watching Courage. So I gave her some encouraging words. And these are probably going to be backwards for you, but whatever. It says be good. Um... She's really into King Julian. They have a the TV show on Netflix, and she was really into that. So it's like, you are you are great, like in the voice that he does or whatever. Um, this was for <clears throat> the first day of fall. So it was just like, happy fall. And I have different size post-it notes, so whatever, whatever works. Um, every Friday she has a spelling test. So this was good luck on your spelling test, Mom of Little Witchy. Um, <clears throat> I also tried to, as they started going further on in the year, and they'd have, like, more robust spelling list, um, I tried to incorporate 
the words from her spelling for that week into a note so she could just like kind of reinforces the learning they're doing and just um, practice you know the words so we've got um the cat is so mad and i made my version of like a grumpy cat there's like a hair on it gross um so we got this guy this was <laughs> the day um <clears throat> this was the day of the election says eliana for president and that just keeps swimming one was actually the day after <laughs> the election so that's my political take on the whole situation um this is probably one of my favorite it was for thanksgiving eat more salad um but yeah so i mean really simple but super effective like a kid might not come out and tell you like hey i really appreciate you drawing me a note and putting it in my lunchbox but they really do appreciate it and um it's nice because it's a conversation starter you know um, when i pick her up I usually ask, what special did you have today? Because as a specialist teacher, I want to reinforce that that is a class. Um, but then my next question is, you know, hey, do you like your note? Or what do you think about your note? And stuff like that. And so then we have a conversation based around that. And she's actually told me, like, the one time I did Lilo, and she was like, oh, so-and-so, who's this next term class, was like, you should do the, you tell your mom to draw this. And so then, like, the next day I drew that. Um, and even the lunch ladies, like the cafeteria workers, always like, you know, coming over to see like what note she has. And this has like become like a fun little event um, that's really, I mean, for the price of a pack of post-it notes, it can be, um, you know, just a fun thing for your kids to enjoy. And um, I'm not going to lie, some days like I don't have time for it, so I'm like, you know, as I'm walking out the door telling my husband, I didn't make a note, make one. But he... Like, he'll do it, too, and it's nice because, um, you know, he gets to be part of that. Um, so, yeah, just like I said, you know, uh, really simple but really effective and super meaningful. So if you're looking in the new year to kind of let people know um, how much they mean to you a little bit more, you could totally do something like this for your kids. Not that difficult. Um, it might even be fun to do, too, for, like, a coworker or maybe even your spouse just leaving fun little post-its around the house, letting them know how much you appreciate them and or, um, you know, how much Mondays suck and you hope they have a good one anyway. So, um, yeah, thanks for watching. Feel free to leave comments and make sure that you're liking and subscribing and, yeah, like if you guys want any more tips or tricks or have questions about things that, you know, um, you're struggling with, let me know. I'll see if I have a little thing that can help you out. And, yeah. Have a great day. Thanks for watching.